What is going on guys, Mokim, we're back with another episode of LSPDFR. Today we're going to be the uh, LSPD, the Los Santos Police Department, and uh, we're going to be using this Crown Victoria here with the uh, nice skin on it. We're going to be the gang unit today, so we're going to stay around the, uh, we're going to stay in around this area here. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, Grove Street family and Balos and Vagos out here, so... Uh, we're gonna be checking for vehicles coming out of high narcotic areas and stuff like that. And, um, real quick before we do start, I want to, uh, thank Sirius313, I'll leave him, I'll leave his, uh, his channel down in the description. Uh, he has been helping me out a lot, gave me some, uh, pointers on how to make these videos better, and, uh, he does awesome videos on how to install LSPDFR vehicles and, and stuff like that and mods, so. He's, uh, he's a good guy, and, uh, you should go check him out, so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start this patrol. Attention, all units. We have the carjacking in. All right, there's uh, a, uh, a carjacking strawberry. right over here. It is on this vehicle here. Um, once again, at, uh, we're, we're the gang unit, so a lot of uh, theft and whatnot goes on in the gangs. It was actually a really nice stop. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be on Strawberry Ave on a gray Phoenix license plate is eight seven Ida Adam George seven four five. We're gonna be southbound Strawberry Avenue. Let's see what comes back on the plate. It's stolen. Okay, so yeah, we we did just witness him steal that. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and perform a felony stop here. Come on, get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Alright, so. Vehicle stolen. Luckily, he did pull over, and it was a really nice stop, actually. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get his name here Jack King. We're gonna search him here in the database. We're gonna go ahead and uh, see if there's anything on him. His license is expired, so that's, uh, that's not good, obviously. He was driving with that, so. I should use the spotlight there, but I did not. So, uh, I don't think this guy has any uh, any any uh, ties to any gangs or anything. He doesn't really look like any of the gang members, but we're going to go ahead and uh, breathalyze him here. Make sure he was not drinking on top of all this. He was, but uh, not over the limit. We're going to search him here, see if he has anything illegal on him. Uh, nothing, so... Right now, it's, uh, it's just going to be for the theft of that vehicle, but we'll see. Um, in the car, we're going to go ahead and get him in the back of the cruiser here, and we are going to go search the vehicle. And uh, see if there's anything else illegal in here. I said gray, I think, looking at it now, I think this is brown, so. But it's alright, so. Unfortunately, uh, whoever's vehicle this is, we, we can't really call like, an insurance company and get it back to them, because on that plate, uh, it was uninsured, so. There's no uh, insurance company to call to come pick it up, so we're just going to have to go ahead and tow this vehicle away, and uh, hopefully we can contact the registered owner, so. Uh, so that's, uh, he's got some burglary tools in there, wire cutters, and he's got a folder of blueprints, so we're going to go ahead now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get the tow truck out here to pick this up. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a, uh, a PT for him. For a under and uh, in, we're gonna be code uh, four. It was a Hill. nice traffic stop. Just kind of stole it right around the corner from us there. And uh, we have police three, I believe, which is <laughs> always the one that comes for the prisoner transport, and it's the only one I haven't changed. So yeah. All right, so we're code four off of this, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue our patrol. Alright, we got prison with a knife. This, uh, this could, uh, definitely be, uh, gang related as, as it is in this, uh, in this neighborhood right over here. It's a male. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing anything just yet. 
Um, it could be in one of these neighborhoods. Okay, let's move to this way. Alright, so what we're going to do here, we're going to back up and we are going to pull over here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and run in. Oh, it's okay, it's right here. Alright, so we're going to be in a, we're going to be in a foot pursuit with the, that male with the knife. Oh, he tried to shoot, get on the ground. Oh, he's trying to shoot me, or stab me. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, I've started something here. I've started something here. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. We're going to need backup out here. Oh, there's so many people. Oh, there's so many not good people. I had to take a cover behind the innocent civilian's car. Alright, another one down. Um. Ooh, okay. Wow, so. We got the suspect on the ground. He was shot twice. Um. Wow, okay. Um, Dave Mustaine. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check his name here, see what comes back on it. We are going to go ahead and get the coroner out here to start cleaning up people. Um, wow. So, he tried to stab me, and, uh, I, uh, shot him twice, and then everybody started shooting at me. So, we're gonna breathalyze him here, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and transport him to the hospital. And, uh, he was, uh, way, he's really drunk, so. We're gonna go ahead and search him. See if there was anything else other than the obvious knife there that uh, he had in his hand. And there's a pursuit going on, and there goes one of the corners. And my guy is frozen. Okay, so I, I had to abort the search there. I do believe this one's gonna work. Uh, okay, so now the search isn't working. So what we're gonna do, I don't know, can I transport him to the hospital while he's, okay, so nah, he's gonna take him out of handcuffs, but, um, we're gonna have an officer follow him, uh, follow him down there to the, uh, hospital, and, uh, after they get his, uh, gunshot wounds, uh, sorted out, then he will go to jail for, uh, for, for one, uh, attempted uh, what it, I, don't, I don't really know. Is it attempted murder? <laughs> he tried to stab me. I mean, come on. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're waiting for the ambulance, which is taking a bit here. They are right here, I think. Yeah, here they are. They're coming. It's the uh, fire department. And, uh, they're gonna transport him off to the hospital. And, um, we will get someone to. We'll get a officer. Uh, we'll, we'll let one know uh, which which medical center he's being transported to, and they will go there, and as soon as he's released from the hospital, he will go into jail. So, alright, they're going to go ahead, and they're going to take him to the hospital. Uh, I think this guy's trying to talk to me here. Hello, officer, we'll transport uh, this patient to Davis Hospital. Alright, so we'll have an officer go to Davis Hospital and uh, sit with the guy while, uh, what is going on here? We're going to talk to this lady. Uh, um, we're going to have an officer sit with him until he's discharged, and, uh, hello ma'am, uh, I was down there dealing with some business and I couldn't help but notice your car is destroyed and you're just ramming into this pole, so I'm going to detain you for your safety and mine. Um, we're going to go ahead and check her name here, General Wild. Also, uh, let me know how my voice sounds, I've, uh, I've changed it up a little bit trying to, uh, make it sound better. I don't know if it does or not, so... If it does sound better, let me know. And uh, we're gonna go ahead. She was drinking, not over the limit though. We're gonna go ahead and search her here. And um, I mean, I, I guess technically she doesn't have anything on her. I don't know if technically that she was doing it. I mean, she was ramming into a pole. I, I don't know if that's a. I don't know if that is a crime. I'm not sure exactly, but. Um, all right. So, Miss, do you wanna? Okay, there we go. I almost got hit by that car. Kind of my fault though. Not really the car's fault. We're gonna actually go ahead and grab some more equipment out of. Oh, we're searching. Okay, so I was trying to search uh, my uh, my trunk, but I'm gonna go ahead and search this vehicle first. I really need to download license plate randomizer. <laughs> Just I realized my, what my license plate is on my cruiser. Um. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and finish the vehicle search here. Uh, nothing illegal. I don't know technically 
what I should do here. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll tow this because there's no way I'm gonna let her drive this away. And then I'm gonna give her like a fat ticket. That's that's how I, that's the only way I'm gonna describe it is a fat ticket. So we're gonna go ahead and get her out of the car here. And we are actually going to release her, but then we're gonna stop her again. And uh Hey, stop ma'am. Nope, 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 nope. Do not get in that car. Alright, so all right, we're gonna before we give her the ticket, we're gonna make sure the tow truck grabs her car so she can't get in it. And the tow truck should there we go, grab the vehicle, and we are going to give her a citation for uh for reckless driving just uh slamming into that pole there so she's gonna uh did i well, do i have to do this again? what's happening oh no i'm doing it again oh gosh sorry about this guys sorry about this uh, you have to ask me this right now i'm fine Alright, so, what is happening? Okay, so we're good. She's, uh, she got the citation. No, 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 no. Nope, nope. Alright, alright. What is happening here? I'm stuck. Alright, here. <laughs> Why can't I get her on the ground? Mm, this is annoying. On the ground. Alright, she, uh, she tried to steal my car, so. She's, uh, she's gonna go to jail now. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get her. Is she not arrested? It's saying to her, I can arrest her. I have no idea what's happening. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, she's gonna go to jail now. She, I wasn't actually really gonna, I was just gonna give her the citation, but now she's gonna go to jail, so. We're gonna go ahead and call the transport here and uh, get them out here and come grab her. We're gonna grab uh, our gear again after that shootout. We, uh, we lost our vest there. So, once again, Police 3 slams into the wall, but just really need to change Police 3 to something. So it's not just the default vehicle coming to pick up prisoners every time. Or... Alright, so, he's going to slam in everything on his way over here. Or she is. And, alright, so he's, she's going to grab her, and uh, we're going to be code 4. And we're going to go ahead and continue our patrol. All right, this um, this vehicle here uh, was going really fast down that little street, and also um, he did just come out of a pretty high narcotics area. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to stop him here. As you can see, he's still going pretty fast and uh, kind of doing some weird moves here. So we're going to go ahead and run the plate while we're up here behind it. It's going to be on a brown Phoenix uh, license plate 60 Charles X-Ray. Uh, what's P? What's P? Paul. 369. There we go. Alright, so uh, no tax, which means the uh, registration has not been paid on. So that is a, an arrestable offense in itself. So we're going to go ahead and uh, talk to him when we... After the light turns green, we're going to light him up here and uh, pull him over. And um, we are going to probably ask him if we can search the vehicle. If he says no, then uh, we'll probably ask him to step out and probably call a K-9. Um, just to, you know, make sure. But once again, no tax is uh, arrestable, so... He, uh, he'll probably go for that, if nothing else. So, as soon as this light turns green here, which it's taking a while to do, and this is annoying, well, the, the, the light just is not turning. Come, come on. Come on, light. Oh, great, that one turned green. What is happening here? I believe this cruiser behind me is honking at me. Not much I can do. Helicopter over there. Man, this is uh, this is very entertaining watching me sit behind a car in traffic. 
All right, here we go, finally. We lit him up there, and he just hit that pedestrian. So, that's good. That's really good. All right, we're going to go ahead and get him off the road a little bit more here. He, uh, it was a nice stop, but uh, could have been better. So, we're going to go ahead. We already ran the plate. We are going to get the spotlight on the vehicle here. I believe it is occupied times one, so we're going to go ahead and make contact. Hello, I am uh, Officer Monk with the LSPD. Uh, you were driving a little crazy back there. Uh, have you uh, have you had anything to drink today? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I do have a problem with that, actually. Have you taken any drugs now? Can I search your vehicle? Um, okay, so I can search your vehicle. You also did tell me you were drinking, so I'm going to ask you to go ahead and step out here. You were also coming, the reason for the stop, by the way, you were driving crazy and you were coming out of a high narcotics area, so so that is the reason for the stop. I cannot seem to get him on the, there we go. Alright, so, so we're going to go ahead and detain him here. Why can I not do this? There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and detain him here, and uh, we'll run his name, see what comes back on it, Tim Green. Alright, so. All right, Mr. Green, uh, everything's fine there. I want you to go ahead and uh, come back here to the back of my cruiser for me, and uh, I'm gonna go and breathalyze you since you did say you uh, had some something to drink today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and breathalyze you here, and then I'm gonna search you, and uh, I'm gonna search the vehicle. Okay, so you're way over the limit, so that's a DUI there, and uh, and then the no the no tax thing. So we're gonna search you, and uh, wow, you have a baggie of marijuana, a suicide vest. So uh, you're gonna go for those as well. Which is he's he's just piling on the charges. All right, go ahead and get in the back of my my car here for me, please. All right, thank you, sir. All right, so right now Mr. Green is in a lot of trouble. I can only imagine that that uh, the marijuana came from coming out of uh, Grove Street there, as there is a lot of uh, transactions going on in, uh, and around that area. So. The station wagon is just gonna have to sit there because he thinks he can't get around. I guess. I understand the doors open; he can't really get around. But once it closes, he'll be fine. But he will not go after it closes, and I know that for a fact. So, uh, so he's got some burglary tools as well. So that is never a good thing. We're gonna go ahead and call the tow truck to come pick this vehicle up here and uh, dispatch it. A tow truck out here. Um, we got some. Uh, we got a traffic stop back up, but I'm not going to take that one actually. I was thinking about it, but we're going to go ahead and finish up with this, clean everything up here. The vehicle has been picked up. We're going to go ahead and call a PT for him and uh, get him off to jail for uh, possession of marijuana, uh, whatever the charge is. is. Like, is suicide vest? Is that a? Is that like what's that charge? What's the charge? I know it's on the tip of my tongue. Um. Oh, possession of a weapon of mass destruction, I believe, is, is the charge for a suicide vest. Um, and then uh, the no tax. So that was a clean traffic stop there. I uh, just seen him driving kind of crazy, coming out of a high narcotics area, and uh, it turns out he uh, was up to no good. So we got some stuff off the streets, which is always a good thing. Alright, so this, uh, this, uh, brown peyote here, uh, is coming up as the license expired, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, stop him here and, uh, see, see what's up with the, his license being expired. Um, alright, so I guess he's looking for these cars to go. Alright, so he didn't stop here, did he? Alright, we're gonna cancel I'm gonna cancel the stop real quick. Can you can you go please? There we go, okay. So here we go, we'll do this. Now we'll do it. There we go. Oh, took a second to get that right. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and see if he uh, if he knew his license was expired or uh, if he did not, which is uh which is just a you know, it happens sometimes. You, you don't know your license is uh, about to expire. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, get a license plate check on a brown peyote. License plate 83 Victor Queen William 454. Uh, we're going to be eastbound McDonald's Street. 
cross a bro gathering. Owner's license four, expired, five, yeah, so. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, uh, talk to you about times one. We're gonna go ahead and talk to him here. And, uh, hello, I'm, uh, Officer Monk with the LSPD. Uh, your, uh, license is expired. I don't know if you knew that or not, but, uh, just because of the area you're in, uh, you know, I was, I'm just gonna ask, can I search your vehicle? I right, say so okay. So you don't mind, which is uh, cool with me. I just it's uh, it's nothing personal. It's just uh, I've been doing this today. You know, co people coming, people from uh, coming in around this area is it's not a good area to be in. You know, so that's the uh, that's the only reason. Once again, nothing personal. So I'm just gonna detain you here for your safety and mine. You're not under arrest, so I'm just gonna have you go ahead and step back to this way. And uh, I'm gonna run your name, Mr. Perry. Thank you for being uh, cooperative. So. We're gonna go ahead and run his name here. See if uh, see if his license yeah it is expired. So we're gonna breathalyze him here. You know, make sure he's not drinking and driving. Uh, I don't have any reason to believe he was. Uh, yeah, he was not. So we're just gonna search him here, and uh, he uh, he doesn't mind searching the vehicle. So uh, you know, it's just a it's just a question that you ask when uh, people are coming out of these kind of areas. So. We're gonna have him, uh, hey Mr. Perry, will you, uh, mind go ahead and sit in the back of my cruiser for me? Um, and then I'll search your vehicle and, uh, get you on your way. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, search his vehicle here. Uh, we'll be looking for any kind of narcotics or guns or anything like that, because, once again, uh, this is a high gang activity area, high narcotic area, so. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and complete a vehicle search here. We're just gonna search the trunk and then the passenger side. And uh, if everything checks out, then he'll be good to go. Uh, after putting him through all this trouble, I'm not even going to worry about the expired license. Uh, I'm just going to make sure, you know, tell him to go ahead and go fix that. And then, uh, fi you know, f figure out his expired license problem. And uh, he's got a baseball bat, but that's not illegal, so. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get Mr. Perry out of the vehicle here. And uh, give him a talk to him for a second. Right, hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Perry, uh, you know, I, you, you were being cooperative and, uh, you, uh, you know, you didn't have any objection to me searching your vehicle, and, uh, so, because you're so cooperative and everything, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know, just go ahead and get that, uh, go ahead and get that, uh, expired license fixed and, uh, get it renewed or whatever you need to do, so, uh, have a nice night, Mr. Perry. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna be code for all for that traffic stop, uh, he was uh, very cooperative. Gonna, oops, just gonna hop out the car here. So um, he was very cooperative. Let me search the vehicle, and uh, you know, I hope he understands that uh, I'm not just Mr. Bad Cop. It's just, uh, it's just because of the area he's in. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna let him go, and uh, hopefully he'll get that, uh, he'll get that expired license fixed, and uh, he'll be all good to go. Alright guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, also, always check the description. Uh, this episode, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Sirius313, as I said, I'm going to put him in there. Uh, but also, that has all my social medias and stuff. So, go ahead and check that out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode.